today. From Soldier Field in Chicago. It's week two of the NFL on EA Sports. a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport soldier field in chicago just a short time ago this crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century old building they are ready for football indeed in chicago as their guys get set to do battle with the new york giants With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They come in off a good win on the road, and now they hit the home. One. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty, and the Bears will get the football back. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. 43-yard line. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he stopped immediately there. The tackle there by the safety, Xavier McKinney. No gain on the play. Second and 10. At the Giants, 40. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. A Chicago first down, the former Jag, Allen Robinson, on the catch from Trubisky. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. On first down, Montgomery. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Marcus That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set him back for second down. Throwing on second and long. Trubisky forced out to his left. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Yeah, he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance. And that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. And 
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own 20. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. And remember, despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again, Jones. He dumps it off to Barkley. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays in order to move it. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Jones throwing on first down. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Khalil Mack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Second and 16. From the gun, Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Our good coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. How about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Rolling to his right. And he's going to keep it here. Give him a couple on the scramble in second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. But on that play, they held him for a short game. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I put the word big in capital letters here. And that is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown down right at the nine-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Jones now on first and ten. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And it looks like they've got six DBs on the field here for a third and nine. They'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
First down, a run with Cohen. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. The keeper. Well, Brandon, they're getting to 2-0, and, oh, and this time, they're able to take a knee at the end and secure the victory. Preseason, coach said their goal, they obviously want to win everything. He said, I think we can get off to a 3-0 start. Well, here they are, looking at 2-0 and oh right now. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what 